Welcome back. I got a big one for you today. A big one. That's spelled B-I-G dash U-N. Un. A big un. A big one. Black, white. Let me put it to you this way. Black, Christian, white, Christian doesn't even exist. First of all, there is no one on the face of this earth that's living or that has ever lived that had black skin. Uh, this is not black, it's brown. There is no one on the face of this earth that has white skin. This is white. This is white, see? Now, those are false names that was given to us by flesh, man, and Satan. It shouldn't even matter what our skin color is. What should matter is what's in our heart, what's in our mind, what's in our soul and our spirit. So when you got a congregation that's all black, as they say, that ain't of God. Hey, don't get mad at me. I'm just being honest with you. Because, see, if you were doing your part to go ye therefore and teach all nations, uh, you'd have a mixed church. There would be no separation. Every place would be mixed. But when you got this separate, that's no longer of God. It started off that way and you've been having it that way so long. See, first of all, that's an ungodly tradition that crept into the services hundreds of years ago. And I'm going to tell you what helped it in this country. Racism. The terrorism and the torture of people my skin color 400 some years ago. And it lasted for well over 300 some years. Matter of fact, it's still going on now. And I'm going to be honest with you now. People of my skin color didn't start this in America. What you need to look at is that it was racists who were in power who started this mess in this country. See, when they came here, so what? It was going on in other places before. But when you got here, you should have ended it. But you kept the tradition going. Separation. By skin color. So it is only your duty to get on board and join me and to help to break that division away. Because I, hey, I have to prove to people all the time. You know, I run across a lot of people. All white people are devils. That's a lie from the pits of hell. I got a video right now that proves that's a lie. Matter of fact, I went to a prison reform meeting where it was 85% Caucasian. 5% my skin color. And if the prisons are overpopulated with people my skin color, uh-oh, uh-oh, that means they should have been the majority there. But because of their evils and hatred, they weren't there. But they want to sit around and say all oh, white people are devils. Well, I got to prove somebody else is the devil too. Okay? So back to this black and white. And see, I'm working, I'm I'm still working on this. Now I call the people that most people call white, I call them Caucasians. And me, I don't even know what to call myself. Cause I've been called so many things. Um, Negro, black, African American, all this different stuff. Look, I'm kind of leaning towards Negro, but I don't even like that because I, I haven't studied enough to see where it came from. But it's, put it this way, I ain't black. It ain't nobody on the face of the earth white. And another thing, let me tell you this about this black thing. People, my skin color, you were called black because your enemy named you black. And you so proud of it. Now look at Jane Brown. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. You embrace, I'm so tired of people embracing the curses of their enemy. Embracing it and loving it. And then trying to show them different, boy, they'll hate you to death. Anyway, the point is, all of this division by skin color is ungodly. It's hate, self-destruction. 
A lot of people say integration messed us up. Let me tell you something. It's okay to integrate with other people. But let your heart, mind, soul, and spirit remain in Christ. When you start picking up other ungodly traditions from other places and, and other ungodly traditions from that culture and that culture and all that, you know what? Get back to God's culture. God's culture does not divide by skin color. It does not divide by fitness. It does not divide by size, height, thickness, fatness. It don't divide that way. It divides by heart, mind, soul, and spirit. The good with the good, the evil with the evil. Separate from that which is unclean so, so he can receive you. Anyway, that's, the, that's it. There is no black. There is no white. We're all shades. Lot, most, I think, I believe the majority of the of the whole world are shades of brown. You got people who are like the palm of my hand is is it white? It's got a tannish color to it, a light, light, light tan or something like a a eggshell way off white. You know, so it's a lot of shades of brown. Now you have some people that might be a little. Uh, yellow is tip, but guess what? Yellow is kind of in brown. You got some that, let's say red. It ain't really red. Now, you got Caucasians, they can blush or whatever or get real angry in their face, get, you know, blood rushing through their face or something like that, and they call it blushing or something, or either they call it anger or whatever, but but it don't stay like that. And, and their skin color is not white. So, those who want to be perfect in God's eyes and heart. And make sure to look at that video. Look how easy it is to be perfect in God's eyes and heart. You have to get off of man's definition. Get away from man's definition of stuff. Because man's definition of perfect is impossible to do. But God's definition of perfect is. And I give it. In the video called Look and See How Easy It Is to be perfect in God's eyes and God's heart. We need to get off of man's definition because man has twisted this, especially the English language. The, the English language has butchered some definitions. Bottom line, get up off the black and white, okay? And I'm not saying don't call a racist a racist. Don't call a bigot a bigot because we're going to have to deal with racism because it exists. But Caucasian people, stop trying to defend your race because someone is against racism. That just makes you a racist when you don't own up to what's going on. And people my skin color, stop running around here talking about all white people are devils. That's a lie from the pits of hell. I got proof. It's not true. Matter of fact, I have a bunch of Caucasians on my friends list over on Facebook and I'm telling you now they don't worry about being cast out by their own race they're going to stand up for what's right and they are sympathetic to the things that people my skin, are, skin color have gone through and are going through they're sympathetic enough to understand it and to see what, 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 what I explained to them and others explained to them and then they they jump in and be wanting to help. But then you know what messes that up? Some ignorant, self-destructive, self-hating person my skin color will go in there hating on them and start blasting. It was your people who did this to me. It's your people. All that type of stuff. See? Look, bottom line is you need to seek out those people who are good. If you don't know any good Caucasians, then you ain't looked hard enough. And Caucasians, if you don't know any good people my skin color, you ain't looked hard enough. Anyway, until next time, yeah, that's it. Be blessed. Hallelujah.